career up on this truckers, man. And like social media truckers, content creator truckers. I guess you consider me like a content creator type trucker. I don't create real content. But I do have I have a Facebook page, Introverted Trucker on Facebook. It has a nice following on it. I got a TikTok, they got a decent following on it. And it's basically my daily life, whatever I feel like recording, I record it and I post it. And ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not setting up scenarios or I'm not giving you a day in the life or none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just my truck and I pull a flatbed. I like I like I like what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I like to share it with the world and I got a sense of humor, so it all plays a part into what we do. But this video right here is mostly gonna be about like referral bonus truckers, man. And I see a lot of these guys, like they come in, they will drop out. I'm gonna tell you the story about a guy, man. Um, I can't think his name was Aaron, right? It's a group on Facebook we got. It's called Flatbed Gang. If y'all got it, go check it out. Um, his name was Aaron, right? He was over at JLE, right? So he would get on, he would get on, he would get in his Facebook group and other Facebook groups every day. Po not every day, every week posting his settlement, right? He was leasing over there at JLE. He'd get in that group every week, posting his settlement, right? Seven to be, settlement to be five, six, seven thousand dollars, right? Three loads, he bring it home seven thousand dollars, right? Showing the loads to people, right? And he, he people, people jumping ship. People leaving the companies they was with, right? They leaving the companies they was with and they running over to this company, right? Over to JLE, that they based out of Pennsylvania somewhere. They running over to JLE, right? Getting jobs and shit, working over there. Then two or three weeks later, you hear, man, ain't no money over here, man. We not making no money. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no money. I don't, where the money at? We ain't eating over here because that was his favorite line, right? We eating over here. He'd get on Facebook every week, post his settlement, and it would come out, oh, we eating over here, JLE. We eating over here, JLE. We eating over here. Every week, posting his settlement, right, with these different rates. It, it wouldn't even show the rates, he'd just show, he'd just show the settlement, right? But come to find out, it was a good marketing strategy, though. You feel what I'm saying? But it was some conniving shit, but it was a good marketing strategy that he went into there and he did this because he, he flocked people over there and he got these referral bonuses, right? He got a ton of people to come over there and got all these referral bonuses, right? And he was basically showing off he wasn't making no money in trucking over there because they was running on, they didn't have, you know what I'm saying? They was losing contracts and they was running off low boards. And after COVID, you know, you know every, if you in trucking, you know them low boards went to running off the spot market, went to, went, went to shit after COVID. So he he was not making money over there, right? As as trucking, he was making money off referral bonuses. But he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't relaying that information. I was saying, oh, this is my settlement. Oh, this is coming from referral bonuses people that I got coming over here, that's where the money coming from. It was a hell of a market strategy, but it was conniving, man. You know what I'm saying? And then he, I want to say he kind of like, he ran that company into the fucking ground, man. Because if, if you would have seen how many people was leaving their companies, going over to JLE working, and they was getting over there and saying, man, afraid ain't here, the money ain't here, I don't know what he talking about. You know what I'm saying? Man, somebody finally went in there and um, somebody finally got a settlement, right? I think he posted a settlement one time. And they went in there and looked at the breakdown. He posted something with the settlement, but somebody was actually able to go in there and do a breakdown on that settlement and see that, hold on, bro ain't making that, he ain't making that type of money off lows. All oh, this is off referrals, right? All oh, this is off referrals that he getting his money from. So he goes in there, he's a cold, he's a, he's a, he's a cold dude too, because he didn't deny it once it was brought out that he was he was cheating people, a lot of cheating people, but he was lying to people saying he was making his money from actually trucking. He admitted to it, and then his excuse was, though, I didn't tell nobody I was getting this money from trucking, but she did, actually didn't tell nobody this money was coming from Lowe's. He was just actually showing the settlement, so he actually didn't lie, but it was deceiving. He actually didn't lie, though, but that's just one thing. Like, I don't, I feel like if you if you go to a company and they advertising a big referral bonus, that's a red flag. If they advertising a big referral bonus, that's a real. That mean they 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 having time, they having a hard time retaining drivers over at the company they at. So that that's a red flag right there. They having a hard time retaining drivers. And the most most times, why why a driver won't won't stay at a company is either the freight not there, the miles not there, or they getting micromanaged. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes this driver here too, where it's a safety concern, 
like the safety on their ass because they doing something wrong or they don't like the, the front facing cameras or none of that so yeah it's just something about I don't I don't like referral bonus truckers man they just they all over the place referral bonus truckers is not they the scum of the earth man when it comes to trucking man like if you solely if you solely base it off referral bonuses they like the scum of the earth I do I get referral bonuses people contact me but I don't go out I don't advertise the referral bonus you feel what I'm saying I get a lot of people that jump in my inbox and they ask me and I give them an honest a true breakdown of how I'm doing at this company and this is this is my experience so my experience probably not gonna be your experience over here because I got my own per me and my me and my dispatcher been together for four years right I'm at Blair Logistics it's a lease op company man it's a lease op owner op company right I've been over here for four years so me and my dispatcher has he knows how I'm gonna run he know where I'm gonna run he know when I'm gonna run right so he knows this right so he know when Wednesday roll around if I'm in say I'm in Pencil. I'm gonna give you a scenario, right? A couple weeks ago, I took a load from um, what I ran up the PA. I ran some um, what I run up the oh, I went to Chef, I went to Sheffield, Ohio, right? Some decking coming out of Memphis where I live in, still decking going to a battery plant in Sheffield, Ohio. He knows the only way I'm taking that load is if you can guarantee me a backhaul coming right back down soft. You feel what I'm saying? And he, I, I got you. We, I'm gonna shoot you. Well, okay, when you unload, I'm gonna shoot you over to Pittsburgh, 147 miles. I got a coil coming right back down to Memphis. So he knows that's about the only way I'm gonna take that load going up to Sheffield, Ohio, because I don't like running. I don't like running seven, 800 miles, right? I like running short runs between three and 600, three to 600 miles, three and 500 miles. That's why I, I like running there. I like next day hops, right? So I like the unload Monday morning, reload Tuesday afternoon, reload Tuesday evening, afternoon, get that off Tuesday morning, and so and so for the rest of my week, and he knows that's how I like to run, right, so I, I tell a lot of people, your relationship with, your relationship over here, I mean, your, your success over here can't be based off of mine, because I know me and my dispatcher have a relationship that we built over time, and we know how we gonna run, we know, he know what I ain't gonna do, he know what I'm gonna do, he know where I'm going, you know I ain't staying out over the weekend. I'm going home Thursday, Friday. I need to be working my way to the house. When I'm dead heading home. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how things go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not staying in no truck stop for no 34 hour read. I'm, I'm headed home. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, so that's a lot. But it's just, I don't know. Referral bonus truckers, I just, I don't like them, man. I don't. It's, it's cool. It's cool to be, if you relaying truthful information. But if you're deceiving these people, man. And just and, and, and souping up a company and it's BS, then I don't agree with it. You feel what I'm saying? But if you're being truthful when you're talking to these people about these companies and how they run, fine, man. That's truthful. I respect that. But yeah, man, just can't social media when they deceive when they deceiving these people thinking they doing this and they doing that when they actually not. It's BS, man. It's straight BS and it's wrong, man. But. That's my little rant. That's my video for the day. I'm finna ready to drive. I got about four, 420 miles left to do on this low. I got a 4 a.m. delivery appointment. And I'm finna hit the road, man. Y'all be safe out here, man.